All right, three, two, oneers. Model Rocks three, two, one here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a commenter in my last video. It was the unboxing. I think it's titled something like the Falcon Heavy Two, something like that. Because if you saw a recent video, I purchased a Max Q Rockets kit. Shout out to Max Q Rockets, Randall. What's up? Cool dude. Make great products. Everything works. They work. Let me get that out there first and foremost. It's not towards um, Max Q. This is towards a commenter in the comment section. So we're going to get to that in a second. First of all, let me go back. This is the first kit I purchased. This is Exhibit A. We're going to call this Exhibit A. Here is the diagram of the rocket. We're going to discuss the mistake I made because I made a mistake. I make mistakes, you make mistakes, NASA makes mistakes, everybody makes mistakes all over the place. I'm gonna discuss the mistakes I made. When I put this kit together, I didn't build just all in one setting. I inserted some parts of checking things and I do read the instructions. And I wanna read this commenter's remarks too because he, you know, he kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. But anyway, these three parts down here, it's these black parts, not the landing legs. There's a retention system and there's a part where you slide into the tube you're supposed to glue those in i slid them in just fitting parts and things and i came back the next day and i forgot that i didn't glue them i didn't even come back the next day it could have been two or three days later sometimes i don't build in all one day or i build over a few days sometimes and i forgot to glue those in because they fit so tight i launched a rocket it pretty much got destroyed now that's the one that's the first thing that happened the next thing i noticed during my review of the parts in my debriefing i noticed or i could have noticed on the field i just forget that we had some melting on this tube. This is the center core motor. It has some melting here and from ejection, it melted the plastic here. That's the second thing that happened. So I sent a message to Randall at Max Q. What's up, Randall? Cool. He said, um, yeah, he said that that can happen. He said, um, he, no, I think he knows it happened or you can line the inside of the tube on the, B, put a bit of BT-50 that'll protect it. When ejection happened, it'll protect it a little bit more like that so i said okay fine on my version of this we're going to get to exhibit a i purchased this kit a while ago there was no mention of that this is the first page this is the first part of the uh assembling core booster there is no mention of a bt50 being inserted into the rocket any of the tubes because this is a three engine cluster so as you have the diagram where's my diagram i had the diagram of the rocket somewhere i don't know where it went now uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, here it is. So, you have this is a three engine cluster. So, I put just marks here where the BT 50s would go just to protect those when it throw the ejection charge forward. Even though your zeros won't have that, but it's still it's the last little piece of up thrust that could have some char in there. But anyway, that's that. This was the first kit, did not mention it at all. Me and um, Randall, he discussed it when we were talking in an email that I had. Now we're going to get to Exhibit B. Exhibit B is my new kit. Exhibit B, new kit, right here. Brand new bag of parts, all mass queued, ready to go, all 3D printed, ready to be built. And it will be built and it will be flown successfully. This is Exhibit B, Assemble Core Booster. Right here it says it. Right here is it says it. These are the newer versions. This is the older version. This is the one that got destroyed. No fault to Max Q, the, the, the destruction was my fault. I was just talking about the melting on that booster tube. I'm just referring to that part. So this commenter, let's read what he wrote. I have it right here, it's in my last video, the one talking about the, it's the unboxing. He said, <laughs> he said, where is he at? Where, where are you, where are you, sir? Where are you, sir? Cause you got a little, got a little excited in the comments. It's on there right now. You can, um, you can go read it for yourself. It's in my last video. He said, dude, I have the same kit. It quite stately, it, it, it clearly states on step one, please note, you can insert a BT-50 tubing. I feel you're being a little flaky with these videos and giving Max Q a major injustice here by stating that it's not in there. Max Q clearly states it on the Falcon Heavy and the Falcon 9 kit, as I have both to insert a tube to prevent melting. They're great kits, but with every set of instructions, read them all before starting the build. 
sir, you don't know my process. I do read them all. And on this first one, it is not in there. So you are jumping out the window a little bit, speaking on something you don't know nothing about. So stand down, sir. You just don't know the situation. As I just showed in exhibit A, the ones I have does not have it here. In exhibit B, it is on the newer version. Had it been on this version, BT50s would have been in there because I believe in just having that redundancy. So that's all I'm addressing in this video. Like I said before, and if you would check my, I have a community post where I said Max Q kits are great. They're 3D printed, super cool. I like them. I like them. No problem with them at all. You know, some people have issues with them, but I don't. I don't. And um, this was the newer version, which has it in the instructions. And the older version did not have it in there. I think they should all be lined, which I think he's going to move move forward with doing. And in that last video, I was just, I was not kind of trying, I wasn't trying to go through every single piece of instruction. I just didn't see it. I overlooked it. I thought I was, I was looking for a diagram, maybe showing it or something. I was going with more visuals than looking for like all the words. That's why I didn't see it. And I do read the instructions when I build, sir. So that is to you. And that is just to clear the air and to clear my name, talking about my videos are flaky and this and that and the other. Just go sit down, enjoy the show, build and launch what you launch. If you saw it in your versions, that's your version. See, you just didn't know that it wasn't in the versions that I had. So that is that. I just wanted to address that for you guys. Um, I still appreciate the support. Max Cube makes great products, as I said, three or four times now. It just wasn't in my original instructions, the part about inserting a BT-50 to protect the inside the, uh, the plastic tubing. So there you have it. This is Model Rocks 321. I just wanted to come on here and clear my name. I ain't gonna have no slander in my comments. The comment's still up. I mean, he's still there. I'll have no issue with him, but just don't be I'm talking about something flaky and this and that. I was just going, it was just a quick glance at the instructions to see if I could spot it in there. But then I went back to my original one and it's not in the original ones, which are Exhibit A. So there you have it, guys. I'm Smile Rocks 321. Uh, stay tuned. Got some more stuff coming up. Got another video coming up. Got some launches coming up. Um, and we will catch you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. And we are out. Signing off.